M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Yesu FT65. At the moment, we're in single mode. You can see just one on the display. You've got the VM button here, memory. There's memory mode, and then VFO mode. In VFO mode, you can type in frequencies. In memories, you're going through the different channels. But what if we want to get it in dual mode? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. All you do, turn the radio off, and we're going to hold down the button under the PTT. So this button with a little single line and the PTT whilst turning the radio on. We're going to go into a different menu. Let's turn it off. And let's hold them down. A little bit fiddly. And turn on. A bit of luck. There you are. We get this new menu, and I'll show you this menu. Um, start from the top. You've got set and reset, memory reset, bank reset, all reset, memory only mode, VHF only mode, UHF only mode. Then the dual display is the one we want. Clone, I'm guessing it's got to do something to do with cloning it from one radio to another. Set, reset, memory set, and, oh, and off we go again. So, but you want number eight, dual display. Once you've got number eight, just press the F. This We call this the function button. So just press F. And you'll see that we now have dual display, um, which is pretty good. And we can go up and down with the memories. And it does actually dual watch. So you won't hear two at the same time. But you will, you know, if one comes to life that's on a different frequency, you will hear it. So how do we toggle between the top and the bottom, which is an interesting one. So if you press this once, you go back into VFO mode, okay? We can type in frequencies if we wanted to. We're not going to. If you press it again, so at the moment, look at the frequency at the bottom. It says 433300. Press it again, and that will go up one. And basically you're swapping B and A. So now we can type in frequencies, but we're re effectively, well, we are on the B band and it clearly says B here. And if you press it again, you go to memory mode, okay? So memory mode, if we put that on a different channel than we're on now, that's interesting how they both stay the same. GB3, BC, let's go to VFO mode. Now they're different. So when you're in memory mode, there you are. See that on the B section? That's the A band. I don't think we would transmit on the A, would we? Uh, M0FXB, audio, audio is very good. M0FXB. No, no, he's not getting me because there's no tone because it's not on my memory. Now if I go put it into memory mode, go to Hubnet, which is the channel he was on. M0FXB, no problem with the audio, M0FXB. So when you're in memory mode, although you're displaying two, you are just displaying the memory channel and the frequency, which I think is quite handy. If you press it again, this is when you do display two different ones. So we can type in... That looks like GB3 WB there, which I have programmed. If I just go memory, get into memory mode, go up to WB. M0FXB, yeah, I'm receiving you fine on WB. Oh, again, not opening up the repeater. But anyway, the main thing, right, so how do we get back into single mode? You just do the reverse. So you turn it off, hold down those two again, which is quite fiddly. Turn it on, just hold it in for a bit. Let go, you go back to the clone menu. Menu number eight, look, function button, press, it reboots. And when it comes back, you're in single mode, which I suppose is nice. I like how, I, for me, I think I prefer the dual mode, but the nice thing about single mode, it's nice and simple. 
Uh, VFO, remember if you want to put something in the memory, it's nice and easy. Type in the memory, select all your tones by holding down that button there, and selecting you know the different menus. I have made a separate video doing this. Come out, and then if you want to hold it in the memory, just look, just hold down the VM and you'll go into store, memory storage mode. Again, another video on that as well. So it's a very nice radio, nice and loud, good audio. It's, it's, I say, I think it's better quality than a Bofeng or Warui and all those kind of radios. It, it, it just feels better quality. I trust this one to, uh, to work quite well. It has DTMF as well. It hasn't got air band, but it has got broadcast. If you want to flick through the bands, just see this button here, it says band. There's radio. And then you've got VHF, UHF. I, I can't see anything like air band. I don't think it's got air band. So we go one, two, six. Yeah, it just doesn't. So it doesn't do that. This is uh, uh, radios nowadays. They all tend to have airband. Whether they're very good airband radio, it's got a nice battery in it. Feels like the battery's going to last a long time on this one. It's quite a large battery for really a radio that's not using that much power. It is a five watt radio, and there are some shortcuts I noticed on this, some of these. You go F, push the F button, and an F appears on the screen. That one takes you to the home channel. Let's do that again, F. Let's get out, let's go to a, a band that we actually use. And then we'll try it again. That takes you straight to power. So P2 is take, taking you to power. I'm not sure if you can program these buttons again. Then you just go up and down with the power. Five watt, 2.5 and 0.5, which is very handy for my node. And then come out of that. Let's hit the F button the, that again, and we'll go P3. Squelch type. Look, even got pager. It's interesting. That's your squelch. Just leave it off for now. And again, F. Yeah. F F4 doesn't do much. It's taking me, but it's just taking me to VFO. So I'll, I'll look in the manual for that. So thanks for watching my channel. I do think it's a nice radio. You can pick these up second hand, very low price these days. And brand new, they're about 100 odd, you know, 100, 120 pounds. But you are getting a good quality product. Bye for now. 7-3, catch you on now. All the best.